So a lot of people try and get the will to win purely by willpower. Hard to sustain. There's a problem. Okay, so I, for many, many years, I carried, I mean, I'm not you, but I carried 245 to 255 pounds. And I'm six foot four, and I'm big boned, and you, but, but still, 245 pounds is too much, right? I run 205 right now, and I've been, kept those 40 pounds off for more than a decade, okay? One of the things I've done, here's my enemy. It's a big environmental enemy. Donuts. Me and Homer, baby. Donuts. If they're within reach, I'm eating them. Therefore, can't be in my environment. Serious enough about that that in Phoenix, right between my house and my office, there was a donut shop on the right-hand side of the street. Bad thing for me. Bad thing for me. I won't eat any. I'll just stop and get some for the break room. Here's my solution. We moved. <laughs> Sold the house and moved. So I had a path that didn't have a donut shop on it. I know if I go out when Carla's at our other home, if I go get myself dinner at Panera Bread and I get two salads and they put two pieces of bread in the bag, if I don't throw them out in the trash bin in the garage, and I mean in the trash bin, all right, I'm gonna eat them things. So successful people create success environments for themselves that allow them to be productive, allow them to be successful. And a very good question is whether you are in a failure or a success environment. So I write a lot, I'm a writer. A lot of writers say, I don't know how you put out as much as you can because I get distracted. I, the computer, somebody, sends me a thing to go watch the three pigs on the surfboards at YouTube and, and I gotta go look and I get a, a email, a text comes on my phone and somebody walks in and there's a squirrel in the window and I don't know how you, very simple. I have a computer that's not connected to the internet. It's a typewriter. That's what you need to write. I have a computer that's not connected to the internet, and I have a room with no windows. And I have nobody allowed to come in it. Okay? And I have all my stuff there that I need. So I know me, I know what it takes, it's important to know you. I know me and donuts, I got it. I can't be anywhere near donuts. In the morning at the racetrack, in the track kitchen, they have donuts, I never go get the coffee. I buy, you fly, you go get me coffee. I'm not walking in there near the donuts. I know me, okay? So a success environment. People with their damn cell phones. Women, you may not know this. You may or you may not. But if you believe men are idiots, here's proof. You could actually go into, at an airport, at a hotel, at a conference center, at an office building, you can go into the men's room, and there are men at urinals conducting business conversations on their cell phones. Now, if you stop to think about this for a second, anytime one of them tells you they don't have the ability to hang a picture in the house, okay, this requires some real dexterity okay, to be able to do this, because okay? it's inappropriate to ask anybody for help. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but the stupid any of this, a business conversation, an important conversation in this hand, <laughs> trying to maintain dry shoes in this hand. Really? You're focused? I don't think so. And if you're unfocused, you are unproductive. That's simple. That is a failure environment in which you are trying to do something successful. Dumb, 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 dumb. Successful people get themselves higher will to win by putting themselves in environments where they can win. You can keep up with NPE TV through Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.
so that you can stay connected wherever your travels may take you.